Okay, I'm going to make some silicon uh, wheels, uh, model wheels. Now I've found uh, we can get some silicon sealant in the Poundland. Um, it says bath and shower silicon waterproof. It's very cheap, obviously, just a pound. And then I also went to the works and got some craft, crafter's choice acrylic paint for a pound. And I also found some uh, glycerin. I got that from Sainsbury's and that was 90 pence. So for less than three pounds, I've got um, enough to make some uh, a number of uh, silicon uh, wheels for my uh, for my model. So I'm going to show you how to do this now. Okay, so here's my kit. I've got uh, that I've already seen. I've got myself a couple of clips, and uh, those go onto the mould. I'll show you this a bit closer up. That's uh, a mould there. I've got a, a bit of glossy card which I'm going to mix on and then I've got some I've got th three pieces of tissue that I can um, that I can clear up afterwards okay now although I've just shown you this uh, acrylic I'm actually going to use a different one which didn't cost me a pound it cost me three quid but uh, it, the point is that it costs less than three quid <laughs> so anyway here we go Okay, so this is the mould which I 3D printed. Now I'm going to put the uh, the actual model to this, a, a link to it, uh, in the description of the video. So if you have a look in the description, you can download this if you want to 3D print it yourself. Um, so it's actually got um, a little lip here. That's for the one side of the the tire, and there's a um, a bevel in, inside as well. So when this goes together, it will. Uh, make a nice tire. There is. I have also got another one here, which has got a serrated thing. That's for some grips on the tire. If you wanted to put some grips on the tire, but I'm just going to do the the ordinary one this time, and um, we're going to put this together. So it's very simple. You just need to squirt. Right now, what you need to do is to get the glycerin and just put in two drops. One, two, and then. You put some of the, just the blob of the blue, or the uh, whatever colour you're using, and then mix it round. Now what happens is that the glycerin uh, mixes with the silicon and it starts it to set, and then the paint helps you to see when you fully mixed it. So we're just gonna. Mix it as much as we can. Make sure it's all fully mixed in. All right, and we put it in here. Let's scoop it round. Make sure it fills all the gaps. Try and make it flow round rather than just catch an air bubble in. But. Uh, Put that in and then put this in. I like to, to twist it as I go because that just makes sure everything goes through. You should be able to see some come out the bottom and some should come out the top as well. I'll put that together just, just at this point, wipe all the silicon off. Put the clips on just for good measure and then clear up your workspace. Okay, so we've let this go on for an, about half an hour now. In half an hour should be uh, enough time for it to set. Um, so because uh, silicon is um, an RTV silicon, which is a room temperature vulcanization. You don't need to use any catalysts. Uh, the glycerin just uh, speeds it up a, a little bit. But um, I've put this little knob here so that when you push it down, it gives a little bit of a gap for you to get the thing in. There you can go all the way around there. Now it will stretch a little bit when you open it. You can pull the thing apart. Not quite sure how well this is going to go. So 
There we go. I need to pull it off the uh, mold. Now, the mold here's uh, got a few holes in it from the 3D printing. Um, a little bit of acetone would would fill those over. Um, so here's our here's our tire, and we just need to tidy it up a little bit with scissors. So you can just gently tie. Uh, Get these get the overhang off. And the the other side is slightly different the way the mould is, but uh, if you're careful you should be able to trim so it's the same both sides okay, now if I was a little bit more careful I would have been able to stop these bubbles from happening but uh, there we go now I've got a, a wheel here which I've 3d printed and also you can find a link in the description to uh, a 3d model of this this uh, fits on the uh, Pololu uh, motors and gearboxes uh, I've made it slightly smaller because it needs to grip so it stretches and it clings to the wheel so there we go so here it is on my little ant weight robot and you can see I've done the the pink ones I've done with the uh, with the other serrated mold so that's how I mold the silicon tires uh, don't forget to check in the description for the links to the 3D models that you can download and 3D print yourself for the wheels and also the mould, the serrated one and the, the almost um, slick one. Uh, thanks very much for watching.